Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two for our weekly vlog. Celebrating Act Two, as you recall, is all about uh, the second half of your life, arguably starting at 50, and uh, about helping you enjoy life. Yeah, we're I, all living longer. Yeah, and you know, John, it's kind of interesting. Um, uh, and I'll, we'll have to do this on a, a future one. I'll have to look it up. But there is like a, I think, an, uh, an insurance planning or a wealth planning uh, advertisement I've seen on TV whose yeah. message is, if you think you have enough money because you plan very well, forget about it. Okay, <laughs> you need to rethink it because you're living longer healthier right. lives that's true. and that's yeah. the message we've been we've been talking about for the last couple of years and uh un unfortunately people are not dying in the 70s anymore or in yeah. their early 80s they're living to be uh, i'm watching uh, all these uh, in memoriams that show up in some of these monthly shows and weekly shows that uh, this guy died in 96 and he was 78 which was young Okay, yeah. in 86 and 91 and, and 104, but she wasn't the oldest kid on her block. And so it's it's really, I mean, we're all beginning to see that uh, unless accident or disease takes you, uh, the chances of you, no matter what age you are, living a lot longer than you thought you would are pretty good. Sure, sure. Well, I have a cousin who I talked to not too long ago, and he's in his mid-60s and we were talking about uh, life and retirement and stuff. He said, "I'm not, I'm not retiring until after 70. When mm -hmm. I hit 70, uh, he refuses to take the Social Security. He doesn't need it yet. He's got no reason to. He likes his job. He's in good health. Got no reason. And he was, you know, for the next five years, instead of retiring, he can be saving up his uh, IRA or whatever it is, his or retirement I, fund. Or if you listen to, if you listen to you, John." He'll put the money to a Roth IRA, okay, so that he doesn't. Right. So that anything that accumulates in there, he won't have to pay taxes on in the future. So yeah. there are a lot of bits and pieces of this that we've been talking about for years. But anyway, sure. you said, but so he has to start taking Social Security at seventy and a half. Right. That's really the new retirement age, wouldn't you say? I mean, let's face it, we're all incentivized to retire when we can take Social Security. Right. And if you don't need it at 62, um, by the way, remember when 62 was when people got a gold watch mm. and retired? Yeah, they didn't remember? have to worry. About, they didn't have to worry about the battery lasting for six years because <laughs> <laughs> many of them would never make it to 70. Uh, but today, yeah. the truth of the matter is that uh, there are yes, there are, uh, we've adopted many of us healthier lifestyles, but even for those who haven't. The the uh, miracle of uh, modern medicine means right. that they can keep you going uh, maybe yep. uh, eight or ten years beyond your normal expiration date. A couple of new knees, a new hip, you know, and you just keep trucking along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think the important message for all of us, uh, particularly the viewers of uh, Celebrating Act Two, is really no matter what age you are, you need to keep planning right. for your act two for your second act, because if you're 50, you know, once upon a time, you would be planning for your retirement in the early 60s. Well, that doesn't happen anymore. But you at 50, you still need to plan. You've got now 20 years before you're going to retire. Right. Right. When you're in your 60s, you are relatively close to retirement. But even when you hit 70, you still have to make plans. What am I going to do with myself? Right. If I'm not working, what am I doing? And how am I surviving? And, and money is always a part of that. But it's a lot of psychology. It's a lot of medicine, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, friends, neighbors, loved ones. And even when you hit uh, 80, there's, people are not dying in their 80s as much as they used to. Right. They're living to 90. Hey, what's going on in this world? People are living longer. <laughs> that sucks. Well, look, if you plan for this eventuality... You can enjoy it all, and I think that's the important thing: is right. plan for. It. Because the chances are you're going to get much more life than you ever anticipated. Yeah. And if you don't, if you don't watch a couple of things now, you could run out of money. I remember the first 
time I ever sat down with a financial planner, they said, let's figure out all the actual actuarial tables to make sure that you don't run out of money until you don't need it anymore. And <laughs> I mean, that was basically the, with the game. But those days, those numbers were like 10 years earlier or 15 yeah. years earlier than people who are in their 50s and 60s today. And yeah. of course, for me, for me, I've always had to plan for longer because I've got a 25 year rolling plan, as you know. You okay. do, which takes you now to 110 or something, doesn't something it? Like that. Something like that. <laughs> okay, but we remember, can't, we're getting there. Do you remember, Art, and this is a long time ago, it seems to me, probably 30 years ago, a book that somebody wrote, got a lot of attention at the time, and the idea behind the book was spend all your money. Don't worry about giving your kids, leaving any money to your kids. Spend it all. Plan to spend all your money until the day you die. The day right. you die should be the last $10 that you have in your bank and spend. Well, that that ain't going to happen anymore. Right. We're all living too long. Right. So, so my answer is, yeah. my answer is plan for it and enjoy it. And keep updating your plan because yes. you may have, if, if you know, if somebody gave you a date certain, okay, where it was a use by date, the yeah. chances are that you're getting another six to 18 months. Okay. Oh, just, just maybe because, more. Just because, well, just that's just for everybody. If you, yeah. you're not doing any work on it. So you may need to uh, buy one less jet or yacht, or maybe it's time to give up that boat slip uh, that uh, uh, you were thinking about holding on to for a while. Get rid of it now and use that money for the, the last 18 months of your life, which you now have look, to look forward to. Oh, see, I, I believe I'm planning for the next 10 years. Ah. There you go. Well, All that's right. what you're doing. Your rolling plan is 25 years. Yeah. Every year, you've got another 25 years left. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, God bless you. I hope you make it. Yeah. And you know what? We'll celebrate. When we reach that point, you and I are going to go to, well, we can't go to the Calypso Cafe anymore. Okay. Because no. they closed that. But there'll be some other thing that's taken its place in uh, uh, some uh, a beachfront town. Yeah. Everybody have a good life. Enjoy, take good care of yourselves, and plan for the future. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.